Hi, this is Matthew Singh from Obsidian Entertainment, and I'm excited to announce that we've partnered with Virtuous to bring The Outer Worlds to the Nintendo Switch. The Outer Worlds is a single-player sci-fi role-playing game set in the furthest reaches of the galaxy, in the Halcyon Colony, a place that's been branded and operated by corporations. Well, me as uh, both a developer and uh, a player of games, like I love exploring new worlds. And with this game, we were able to build a completely unique universe from the ground up, something that you really haven't seen before. It's really a kind of a cool place to explore. We have a unique kind of tone with the dark humor that we play with in it. You are from a, a colony ship that had been uh, lost in transit. And now, 70 years after being in hibernation, uh, you're revived by Dr. Phineas Wells and recruited to try and figure out how to revive the rest of your colonists. As you venture through these, through these different worlds, you'll find um, a place that's been run by corporations and you are trying to explore kind of what are their motivations, what are they really getting to? You're uncovering a lot of different kinds of conspiracies that might be laying in the shadows and trying to figure out like what's really going on in this world. At Obsidian, we really uh, value player choice and consequence. That's something that we really spend a lot of time on for our games. And the Outer Worlds has a lot of it all the way through. We really want the player to be able to drive the storyline of the game. And we do that by allowing you to have like ultimate flexibility. We really like to play in kind of a morally gray area. We really don't have a whole lot of binary kind of good, bad choices in, in this game. So every action you might think is, is good is gonna have some other consequences. And so you're constantly looking at things and well, if I give this thing to this, to this faction, what is it gonna do to the rest of the world? So we express that in a lot of ways in our games through the factions that you meet, the characters and companions that you take with you, all of them are kind of responding to your choices. We have a number of companions that you'll find throughout the world. Uh, as you go from town to town, place to place, you'll see these people and you'll be able to recruit them uh, as part of your crew. And when you go adventure out, you can always select two of these guys to be with you at any point in time and they'll help support you in both the combats and in the interactions with other people. They'll always be speaking their mind and helping you understand the viewpoints of the world. I really like how we express uh, character growth and progression in our games, and we're doing something kind of unique for uh, the Outer Worlds with our flaw system. Say you're, you're going through different combats, you're taking a lot of hits to the head. Well, eventually, the game will be kind of monitoring what you're doing and, and offer you a flaw to say like, okay, would you like to take a permanent concussion? You might even have a harder time um, as you're taking hits to the head, but you'll get an additional perk that you can use to grow your character in another, another realm. And not only that, but once you have this, say you take a, a permanent concussion, you'll actually start seeing that in the conversations moving forward. Even your companions will start reacting to you being like, oh, Captain over there doesn't have all of his, uh, you know, his circuitry moving. So things like that are, are really cool because it shows the game is kind of reacting to you and it's another way of, of role playing where you can start building your character through the, through the actions and the world is kind of responding to you. And we're looking for those types of things. It's a type of character growth that we haven't really seen a lot of before. I'm super excited about this coming to the Switch because it kind of blends two of my passions. I've been a lifetime Nintendo fan ever since I was three. I've had the NES all the way through every single console uh, and every single handheld. And yeah, I mean, I love role-playing games, to be honest. I've been working on role-playing games for over a decade now, and I'm super excited to be able to take the type of experience that we have and be able to finally play it like on a handheld platform. Today, we can play a full experience on the go, anywhere you want, and something like The Outer Worlds, uh, I mean, hopefully we can find a new audience for people that may not have even had these types of experiences before. Following the launch of the other platforms, The Outer Worlds will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Stay tuned for more info at theouterworlds.com.